If I traded it all. Welcome back, everyone. Now, listen up, because a lot of people, they suffer with this. So I am going to bring on my next guest. She's never been on my show before. I have Dr. Beth Hammond. And, Doctor, you are a dentist, but you found that you had so many people who were dealing with this problem that you actually created a whole other practice, basically, right by, you know, side by side. Welcome to the show, Doctor. Thank you. It's great to be here. So talk a little bit about yourself and what you do. Well, I've been practicing general dentistry for 30 years, and I've enjoyed every aspect of it. But the last five years, I've realized how many people suffer from sleep apnea, from TMJ issues, from facial pain. And so my area of training has kind of morphed into a lot more in these areas. And so now I'm able to open this practice, Koala, and see people in these areas. Okay. Now, you are offering because... You know, first of all, you told me before we came on here, Carol, if you have sleep apnea, you have TMJ, usually, they go hand in hand quite often. Quite often. Also, you have a sleep study that you offer for everybody to get entered into Wintube. That's what we're going to do today. I want to talk a little bit about what sleep apnea is, okay, how they know they have it, and how, what your study is all about, because I'm going to open up the lines to the audience for people to call in and get that from you. So go ahead. Sure. Well, the Greek word apnea literally means cessation of breathing without breath. Sleep apnea is a serious sleep disorder that occurs when a person's breathing is interrupted during the, during the night, sometimes up to one or 200 times every single night. So, of course, when you're not breathing, you're not getting oxygen to your brain and to your body, and that's very important for, for overall health. When you're snoring, <laughs> you are bothering everybody. <laughs> that's right, Not too. only... For yourself, that you're right. not getting the obviously the correct right. sleep, but you're right. also your people that you live with are affected by it. Absolutely, most people who are loud snorers, a lot of them also have sleep apnea. Not necessarily, but snoring is just a constriction of the airway, not a complete blockage of the airway. Right now, well, how does it affect someone's life? Sleep apnea um, affects your life in many, many ways. The quality of your sleep is a huge factor in your daily life. Uh, most people who have sleep apnea um, have difficulty performing and, and being productive at work, falling asleep, um, higher risk for injury, illness, daytime sleepiness, fatigue. It's, it's exhausting. Even uh, increased risk of tra traffic accidents. You know, it, you're impaired. It's kind of like a drunk driver. When you're that sleepy, you have uh, six times the chances of a car accident. So there's a lot of ways that it affects your day-to-day -day life. Basically, you feel miserable. From a medical standpoint, you deal with high blood pressure, you deal with heart disease, stroke. You're, you have an increased risk of all these things, uh, headaches, obesity, because um, our, our uh, hormones that are released at night in, in REM sleep control our, our eating. And those studies have been done lately a lot. Um, loss of libido, mood changes. And even in kids, we're realizing that kids suffer from sleep apnea. And even if they're in bed, they're not getting good, solid sleep. So stunting, uh, stunting of their growth because, again, growth hormone is released during deep sleep. And we're realizing that a lot of kids that have been uh, diagnosed with attention d deficit disorders actually just need, a, need to solve a sleep apnea problem, get better sleep. Before you came on, you had told me that um, there are different things that you can do. There are several different things. And we want to focus on, obviously, the one big one that you focus on. But what are some of the things that people can do to help themselves with sleep apnea? Okay. Well, first of all, life lifestyle changes. And if you have very mild sleep apnea, this may solve your problem. And that would be um, reducing your weight if you're, if you're overweight, um, quit smoking, sleeping on your side, and also um, not to having alcohol or sedatives at nighttime. That's kind of counterintuitive. You think a nightcap will actually help you get to sleep. Well, it may help you fall asleep, but it's not going to help you all night get into REM. It'll, it'll really limit your good quality sleep. So those are lifestyle choices. The second area would be CPAP. And that's that's something that a lot of people are aware of. That's the mask and the machine that blows air into your airway. Uh, some people call it a Darth Vader mask. Um, they're awful. They're awful. And the thing about CPAP is it's, it's a great invention. It works great for about 50% of the people. The other 50% can't use it. I, I always say you, you either swear at it or you swear by it. But either way, you, 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 you're one or the other. You're they're not usually on the... They're inconvenient, too. Go ahead. Well, they're, they're inconvenient. They're hard to travel with. Um, they make noise, which is not nice to your bed partner. 
Um, there's lots of reasons why people are intolerant. So if we have a patient who's CPAP intolerant, we need to come up with another treatment that will help them with their sleep apnea. The third treatment option would be surgery. That would be the, the scariest, the most expensive, the most um, painful, the most difficult thing to do. Um, what do you offer? But for years, uh, surgeons would try to help us with that. And, sure. And, and very, not, a, not very good success rate. The fourth option would be oral appliance therapy, and that's what we do at Koala Center for Sleep Disorders. This is um, a, a, a treatment that was approved in 2006 by the FDA after extensive studies. People love the oral appliance. It works. It's small. Um, what we do is we, we custom fit it and we adjust it to just the perfect place for you. We want to find that sweet spot where you're sleeping all night, you're no longer snoring, you dream because a dreaming it means that you're in REM sleep and that's where we want you to get. That's where your body repairs itself in, in REM sleep. When you wake up refreshed and when you have no daytime sleepiness. So once we get that appliance custom fit and custom adjusted to that sweet spot, we see a huge improvement in your apnea scores. Okay, so you have a home sleep study that you're going to offer everybody into. Let me just tell you something. We're going to open up the lines for everybody to get entered into win this. This is a $500 value free to you. And I just want to ask you on that, uh, it, it, it's going to tell them if they have. Is that, going to, is that what it is? It's if, they, if they even have sleep apnea, is that correct? Yes. Um, when most of our patients come to us, they either know they, are, they have sleep apnea, they've already been um, um, diagnosed, or they have, they're suspe suspecting it, or their mm -hmm. bed partner is making them come. Right. Um, and we go through an a, a exam, and we get their health history and their sleep history and talk about risk factors. But to get a definite diagnosis, you need to take a sleep study. And that can either be done in a lab. Years ago, most of them were done in labs. Uh, but now there are very sophisticated home sleep studies. And those we, can, we have at Koala, and we can send one home with you. You take it home and you you you, uh, you go to sleep. Go to sleep with it. Bring it back in the morning. It comes with a little computer box that has the data, and we put that data into a into our computer. And that report, that data, is read by a board certified sleep specialist, someone who this is all they do is study sleep patterns. And that um, test tells you so much, tells us so much. It's a wonderful thing for you to do because, first of all, you're going to help yourself. You're helping the people that you are, your bed partners that you said before. <laughs> uh, and it's, this is a $500 value. It's free to you. Our number here is 602-277-5369. And toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. Everyone is getting entered in to win this. And I'm going to tell you right now, if it's not you, maybe you don't think you need it, but maybe someone you do know has this problem. You can get this entered into win for them. Again, it's 602-277-5369, and toll-free, it's 1-866-536-1100. Their information, because we're going to go to a break soon, is Koala Sleep Centers, with an S, dot com forward slash Phoenix hyphen Biltmore. It's a lot. But we're going to get you entered in to win this. It's a sleep study. It's a $500 value. We're going to get you connected. We're starting to get our calls. Everybody just keep on calling, um, and I'm going to get you connected with them. Our number here is 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. They're in the Biltmore, Arcadia area. We want to get that out. They're just north of Indian School. Uh, their phone number, you can also call them direct, and if you call them, they're going to do a free consult consultation with you. Our number again their number is 602 357 8535. But call in here, you're going to get yourself entered in to win this home sleep study. It's a $500 value free to you. Our number here is 602 277 5369 and toll free it's 1 866 536 1100. This piece that you're talking about, it's convenient. It's is and it's it's easy to wear. Is it small? Is it big? And quickly, what is the difference between getting it through you as opposed to going like you know at Walgreens where they have them? <laughs> yes, um, it's it's custom fit. It will fit better than than that. And it's also, as I said, fit to, to the right position to solve your problem. Any boil and bite, any anything that you're going to buy it over the internet is going to be just a one size fits all and it's just not one size fits all this is going to hit your sweet spot she said okay. you're getting entered into win it's a home sleep study give us a call here at 602-277-5369 we'll be back in just a minute hang on tight 
If I traded it all, if I gave it all. Our lines are open here. People have trouble sleeping, doctor. They sure do. They do. Now, our lines are open here. We've got everyone being entered in to win. It's a home sleep study. It's a $500 value free to you. You take it home. You go to sleep. You bring it back. You find out whether or not you have even sleep apnea and what they can do to help. There are many options, but certainly the one that they're talking about today is the one that you like the best. I like it the best because it sounds like it's so much more convenient. And um, so our lines are open here. Our number here is 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. This is for you. This is for your bed partner. This is for someone that you know that has trouble sleeping. More than likely, it's sleep apnea. Now, I want to give out some information for the area that you're in and your website. i got to do that because they like checking up on them. So it's koala sleep centers with an S dot com forward slash Phoenix hyphen Biltmore. But call in here. Get yourself entered into the, uh, into the get this sleep study because this is going to help. Uh, you also can call them. Their phone number is 602-357-8535. They will do a free consultation with you if you call. But, again, I'm going to get you to call here. I want to connect you with them. I, we want to make your life better. So 602-277-5369. Okay. You talked a little bit about the sweet spot. Okay, but we were at a break, so I'm going to let you talk about it a little bit more. Doc, I'm coming to you and I'm telling you, I just don't sleep well. I'm snoring. My partner's telling me this. And I've gone through, I don't like the sleep, the, uh, the, what is it? CPAP? The CPAP. CPAP. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. No. It makes a lot of noise. Yeah. You've got to fill it with water. And I like to travel. Yes, yes. So the, the oral appliance is going to solve all those problems for you, hopefully. The only time that we do a combination therapy where we use both CPAP and the oral appliance is if you're very severe with sleep apnea. And in that case, we try to do both. But we're able to turn down the pressure, the air pressure, so people love that too. Mm -hmm. But for most people, the vast majority, for mild and moderate sleep apnea, the oral appliance does the trick. Okay, so and this oral appliance, thrilled. let's talk about it. Okay. It's easy to wear. Mm -hmm. It's fitted to them to find their sweet spot, correct, you said. Correct, correct. And... You could travel with it. Mm -hmm. You don't have mm -hmm. to. Let's talk mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. You, you are going to feel better. You're going to have a better quality of life. You're going to have a longer lifespan. The statistics show that uh, five, 5 to 15 years longer lifespan if you sleep well. And if you have sleep apnea, you're not going to live as long. You're not going to be as healthy. You're, you're going to be prone to all kinds of medical problems. So when you Higher put it medical in, bills. <laughs> when you put it in your mouth, do you feel it? Or is it something like... Like, you know, some people have, like, they have to wear the braces at night yeah, and things like that. Is it similar to, to that? It's similar to a, an upper and a lower retainer. And there's a little hinge that keeps the, the lower jaw forward. So as the lower jaw is retained in a forward position, it's not able to fall back, and your tongue's not able to fall back. And that's what often is closing up your airway and stopping your breathing. So it just mechanically... Hold your, your jaw in the correct position. All right. So, but you do have to take the test. You have to. This yes. pretty much everyone have to take that. Sure. I it's, call it a test. It's a study. It's a study. Well, obviously, if you want, if you want your, insur to your insurance, you're testing your study. You okay. need to. You need to. You need to have that sure. sleep test. But if you know, there's some people that just say, "I snore and I need this appliance," and it does help with snoring too. But anyone who snores should be tested anyway because you have a high chance of having some sleep apnea. So our number here is six zero two two seven seven five three six nine. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. Everyone who's calling in, you are getting entered into win. It's this home sleep study, and it's a $500 value free to you, 602-277-5369. You mentioned that if you take this study, obviously, because I want to know if it's covered by insurance. Absolutely. Uh, sleep apnea is a medical condition. It's, it's covered by medical insurance. And one reason that we did open this sleep center is because we wanted to maximize our patients' medical insurance. So we've been credentialed with all the major medical com uh, insurance companies, as well as Medicare, uh, Access, even the VA. So there's really no one that cannot come to us, and we'll do everything we can. We have a full-time staff member, Wendy, who helps figure out your insurance plan and gets you the, the least out of pocket. And in some cases, with adults, with older adults, if they have Medicare and private insurance, sometimes their out of pocket is, is very little or none, which right. is a great benefit. 
So it's covered by most insurances. Absolutely, absolutely. And we have our lines open here. We want everybody to try it. It's a try. So you have to get <laughs> entered in to win. Find out whether or not you do have mm -hmm, sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing you've got to find out. Because, you know, most people, it's yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Correct? Well, most, you people, find who, out most when, people who come in and have the, the symptoms, study. they sure enough, they do. Right. Um, and usually the first person that suggests they come in is, is the person that's sleeping with them, who's, uh, who's putting up with the snoring. And sometimes they're very worried about the, the, their loved person because sure. the person stops, literally stops breathing. And they may not, their chest may not rise for 30 full seconds. And that, that's kind of scary. Right. And, and it's so, also unhealthy. It could be very, it could, very unhealthy. Right. You couldn't die, but certainly what well, could happen? Well, what happens is you, you um, eventually, and most people that die in their sleep, you know, you've heard for years, oh, that person died in their sleep. I used to think when I heard that, oh, maybe that's a good way to die if you're older. You know, you're just, you're asleep, you're, you're gone. But no, you don't just die in your sleep. You have a massive heart attack. 90% of people who die in their sleep die of a say. heart attack. Sure. And those heart attacks primarily are associated with sleep apnea because the, ah. the heart is not getting the oxygen. The heart is not getting oxygen around the body when you're not breathing. Your lungs, you know, you're not getting to your brain and to your heart. So um, it's, it's not a good way to die. Okay. And if you're, if, you know, it's one thing if you're 90 and you've led a long life, but we're seeing people in their 30s, 40s, and 50s die of sleep, ap sleep apnea in their sleep. I'm going to ask you some things that are not on these things yeah, that I'm going to, yeah, yeah. we're going to take you to. Okay, okay. Again, I want everybody to get entered into win. It's a uh, home sleep study that you're going to get from them. It's a $500 value free to you. You're getting entered into win. Our number here is 602-277-5369 and toll free it's 1-866-536-1100. If you're dealing with someone with this, if you know someone, if you it's, even if you have a friend that tells you that they, they don't sleep well, I think it's a great, great thing for everybody to get entered into when to get to try it. You need to know whether or not it is covered by most insurance insurances. It's also not just for the older people, correct? No. We also tend to think sleep apnea, the sleep paps are for old people. Yeah. That's not no, true, we is see, it? We see people of all ages, um, all ethnic backgrounds. Um, typically, though, men have, have it more than women, about twice as much. Mm -hmm. Typically, larger people, obese or overweight people, I suffer more. I was just going to ask mm -hmm. that. Does obesity have anything to do Ab with it? Absolutely. It does. So, you know, your neck circumference, uh, 17 or more for a man mm -hmm. and 16 or more for a woman, higher risk. And that's just because the more muscles and tissue around your neck, when you go into REM sleep and everything relaxes, more weight to close off that airway. So definitely obesity has a, a role in that. All right, so somebody wants to get this appliance. It's an appliance mm -hmm. that you're putting, right? Correct, you call an oral that appliance. That? Okay, and um, they, they come, they get the test, they take it home, they take the study mm -hmm. home, and they mm -hmm. find out, yes, mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. what, are the next, what are the next steps that happen? So then we would, we would take some impressions, and we would have this uh, custom appliance made, and um, we would have you back and get, the, get it fitted correctly, and then we just give you some time to get used to it and slowly advance that. And we explained to you how that works to find that sweet, sweet spot that we talked about earlier to get it right in the perfect position. So once once you've been diagnosed, we can go get right at, right at it and get started on making that appliance. Sooner the better. Every night that you go with without good sleep is not great for your health. And also, it's not the same as if, let's say, somebody is grinding their teeth. This is not the same <laughs> kind of thing. I want to get that okay. out there because you talk about a sleep appliance and people think that. Yeah. Go ahead. It, um, the, we, we do make a separate appliance for daytime for mm -hmm. TMJ issues and for Different. brexers and grinders. Mm -hmm. Different. Mm -hmm. However, this appliance for, for sleep apnea serves as a, a, a mouth guard as well because you've got plastic between your teeth. It also serves as a night guard. It also serves as a retainer. So if you're newly out of braces and you've got these retainers and you say, well, how can I wear my retainers and wear this? No problem. This put, keeps your teeth in the position. So it's really kind of a multifactorial appliance that works for many And again, things. it is not just for people who are older. It's for younger people, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have everybody, and I'm going to let you keep on calling through, uh, like, the next five or so minutes about uh, getting entered into win this home sleep study. It is a $500 value free to you, and it's easy. When they come in and they Very talk easy. to you, you're going to give them a free mm -hmm. consultation. Mm -hmm. When they talk about this and you give them this home study, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what are they bringing home? <laughs> okay, so they're just bringing home a box with the parts to it. 
um, a couple straps that they wear probably around their, their chest, their abdomen, one little um, device that goes on their finger for the oxygen saturation level. It's pretty simple. My, my kid, my child has done it, so it's pretty simple to, to use. And no you problem. take it, you find out, yes, I do, and then how long does it take to actually get one of these appliances? Once the diagnosis has been made within within two weeks, we within, can have you. We can have you on the track to better weeks. health. And not only that, these are more comfortable. They're easy to travel with, so you don't have to deal with some of them. Smell those those uh, those pap. What do they call CPAP? CPAPs. <laughs> also, uh, it's there's no water to have to deal with. It's very easy. It's safe. It's for you, for someone you knew, know. It's not just for the young. It's also, I mean, for the old. It's also for the young as well. Check them out. They're at koalasleepcenters.com forward slash phoenix hyphen Biltmore. Or call here. I'm going to let you keep on calling, guys, at 602-277-5369.